Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, February 14th, 2024. While on vacation, I'll be releasing videos every Wednesday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 796 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Neo Ho and Chen Du Ling film an emotional scene in Fangs of Fortune. There is a fox in Heng Wen is rumored to star Bai Lu and Joseph Cheng. Cheng Yi talks about the difference in mentality between when he's popular and when he's not. And fans get to hear Del Raba speak English at a brand event in Chengdu. But first, happy Valentine's Day, wishing you a beautiful day filled with all the love and happiness you deserve. All right, here is what's recently premiered, one drama for today and the past few days. Islands stars Xu Fan and Sandra Ma. The modern family drama premiered yesterday, February 13th. According to Baidu, in the drama, Xu Fan and Sandra Ma are sisters whose mother has one strict rule, everyone must go home during the Chinese New Year. No one has ever broken the rules until Sandra decides one time to go to her boyfriend's for the celebration. This causes conflict in the family. Islands is slated for 40 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. That's it for premiere dates. Moving on, Wang Quan, the third chapter in the Fox Spirit Matchmaker series, recently shared some new pictures. On February 9th, the Xianxia drama shared videos of their lead cast giving their Lunar New Year greetings. Here's Cheng Yi. And here's Li Yitong. Both leads have been officially announced in October last year. Following the announcement, they had started filming in January this year. There had been leaked images circulating online, like this one of the two of them giving the paparazzi the fist and palm salute, but it wasn't until the first day of the Lunar New Year, February 10th, that the drama shared their first official character posters. Here's Cheng Yi. And here's Li Yitong. In Wang Quan, Cheng Yi is Wang Quan Fu Gui, who according to this character breakdown, is a young genius from a family of powerful Taoist soldiers. But he has no freedom and yearns for the outside world shown to him by Qing Tong, played by Li Yitong. However, Qing Tong is actually a spy trying to get intel on the Wang Quan family. The drama is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. Next up, a couple of updates on the story of mystics. The Story of Mystics is an upcoming costume drama starring Neo Ho and Chen Du Ling. The last time I mentioned the drama, leaked photos of the two stars on set were circulated on social media. The first update is that since then, the drama has chosen the official English title of Fangs of Fortune. Here is a shot of the banner on their official Weibo page. There has been no official booting announcement yet. In fact, their Weibo page is still completely empty, but word is that they started filming on September 30th. Reportedly, other than Neo Ho and Chen Du Ling, the cast also includes Cheng Xiao, Tian Jia Rui, Yan An of the boy group Pentagon, and Lester Lin. At the helm is Edward Guo, who also directed My Journey to You. The second update is this leaked video which made the rounds on Weibo recently. It's hashtag Chen Du Ling beats Neo Ho's chest leaked. In it, the two actors are seen doing an emotional scene in the snow. She beats him on his chest as if to express that he's wronged her. He then holds her forearm, they make eye contact, and eventually fall into an affectionate embrace. Fangs of Fortune is slated for 26 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. More updates on it as they provide them. Lastly now for drum updates, I just want to quickly mention a melon. Bai Lu and Joseph Cheng are rumored to pair up for an upcoming Yu Cheng drama. Heng Men Yu Hu, literally translated as There is a Fox in Heng Men, is a rumored upcoming Xianxia drama produced by Yu Zheng, and according to Dou Ban, Bai Lu and Joseph Zheng are set to star. This is corroborated by some usually reliable bloggers on Weibo. This post has Wang Xingyue and Zhao Jiaming as co-stars. It also has the drama as commencing their four-month film shoot at Heng Dian Studios in early April. Bai Lu's last drama to air was Story of Kunning Palace, whereas Joseph Cheng's was Romance on the Farm. Both are costume dramas. Here are the two stars doing a photo shoot for GQ two months ago. I will update again on There is a Fox in Heng Men if and when something official is announced. And that's it for drama updates. 
before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you all for your support. According to analytics, more than half the views on this channel come from non-subscribers. So if you enjoy the content, give the channel a boost by subscribing and liking this video. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Cheng Yi, who a week or so ago did a photo spread for Wonderland China. He also shared various perspectives he had in life in an article for the magazine. Among other things, he talked about his taste for food. After I get off work, my daily life is very ordinary, the 33-year-old actor revealed. My taste is very light, my food is very simple, veggies, fruits, and water-cooked meat, that kind of stuff. A few days ago, my staff told me that there was an online rumor saying that the stuff I eat was not very palatable. I feel I need to clarify that they're actually quite delicious. They're just usually very healthy. On sharing social media posts, Cheng Yi revealed that it was just not something he liked to do, not even in his personal social circle. I've been asked about this before, he said. Perhaps it's just my personality. I'm kind of boring. However, I am constantly observing and recording life, and sometimes I'll share it. Like a few days ago, Heng Tian got dumped on with a lot of snow, and it was freezing. I shared a post on Weibo captioned, a big piece of ice cream. Another thing Cheng Yi revealed is that he had been through ups and downs in his career, and that he had been asked before by the media, what's the difference in mentality between when he's popular and when he's not? He wrote, all the voices and looks I'm getting now are temporary. Because I have projects airing at the moment, so I get the attention. If there is nothing airing, it will be silent. I'm used to this cycle and just deal with it regularly. People's mentality and temperament change with the environment. The only thing that doesn't change is my duty to perform steadily. Next up for celebrities, I have a couple of updates on Del Raba. We'll begin with this video clip, which was shared and talked about quite a bit recently. In it, Del Raba and a group of talented dancers took the stage in traditional Uyghur costumes and performed for one of the Lunar New Year celebrations, which aired on state TV. A couple of weeks back, at the beginning of February, Del Raba was in the city of Chengdu attending a Dior event. Here she is, waving to the crowd. At one point during the event, she had a conversation with Peter Phillips, who is the creative and image director of Christian Dior Makeup, and fans got the opportunity to hear her speak in English. The two spoke for about two minutes about the city, food, and about a dress she thought she had lost. I think I, I thought I lost in Paris, but I find it in Chengdu. <laughs> yes, it's following. Many fans praised Del Raba for her English. Quite a few commented that listening to her speak made them quote-unquote feel comfortable. Before we get to our next celebrity update, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now, whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away three extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. Next up for celebrity updates, Jia Ling attended a meet and greet with fans for her latest movie, YOLO, and it was an emotional affair. YOLO premiered on February 10th, Jia Ling directed it and stars in it with Lei Jia Ying. The inevitable talking point is that Jia Ling disappeared from the public eye and lost 110 pounds during the course of filming the movie. It was a story that evidently touched many people. As Jia Ling got on stage, she was greeted with a huge cheer by those who had just seen the movie. It all became too much for the 41-year-old actress, and she soon needed a tissue. Later on, one of her fans was given the chance to speak and was very emotional as well. Quote, 
I remember in January, you wrote on Weibo asking that if we saw you at a meet and greet, if we could give you a hug. So here I am, courageously asking you for a hug." Unquote. Indeed, on January 10th this year, Jia Ling shared a post with those exact words. The fan gifted Jia Ling a red rose and they hugged it out on stage. Here is another clip of a fan saying that she had gone through some hard times and it was Jia Ling who gave her the hope and strength to get through it. She too got a hug. And yet another fan got a hug. Jia Ling was definitely making good on her Weibo message. Jia Ling also made it a point to repeat something she had said before, that the weight loss is just a small selling point of the movie. She said she was afraid to reappear in the public eye too early before the movie aired because then everyone would be talking about her weight loss and it would take away from the movie. Quote, the only thing I can really do is wait for you guys to watch the movie and realize, oh, this really isn't a movie about weight loss, unquote. Lastly, for celebrity updates, here's Kenny Lin, Lincoln Singh. Kenny was spotted yesterday in Shenyang having dinner with friends at a barbecue restaurant. He wore a hat and was dressed casually. A couple of weeks ago, on January 27th, he was considerably more dressed up as he attended the Yuewen Global IP Awards in Singapore. While there, the 36-year-old actor picked up the award for Trendy Actor of Adaptations. Singaporean media outlet Asia One ran an article on him recently and revealed the two most important things for him during his travels. For me, a pillow is important to help me sleep better. I am more used to the thickness of my pillow, and the hotels didn't have the thickness that I want, Kenny shared. He also explained that he didn't bring his own pillow because it wouldn't fit his luggage, but that he still got a pretty good sleep with the one he got at the hotel in Singapore. The other important thing for Kenny during his travels is located in the bathroom. It has nothing to do with feng shui, he laughed. I will check whether the bathroom has a bidet as I am more used to it. And that's it for celebrity updates. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week and I'll see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.